Greetings. Today I'll be demonstrating to you guys how to perform a cylinder balance test or a cylinder drop test on this 2000 Hyundai Accent motor vehicle. So what is a cylinder balance test? A cylinder balance test is a, is a test that is performed to determine which cylinder is, is not contributing its fair share of power to the engine's performance. Right? So in other words, uh, we perform a cylinder balance test to determine which cylinder is misfiring. When a cylinder is misfiring, the, that particular cylinder, the power stroke right, of the four stroke cycle is not occurring on that particular cylinder. cylinder. So basically, the engine is missing. So how is this done? Right? First, you will have to turn on the motor vehicle. Right? So we're going to turn the motor vehicle on and we're going to disable either the, the fuel system by unplugging the injectors up here or disabling the, the spark from each cylinder. So while disabling the spark or the fuel from each cylinder, we're going to listen for a drop in engine RPM, right? So if there's a drop in engine RPM, so let's say we're, we should remove the spark plug wire here from cylinder number one here, and there's a drop in engine RPM, that's, that's an indicator that this cylinder is contributing. If we should remove the or disable the, the spark here, right, or even the fuel from cylinder number two, and there is no drop in cylinder RPM, there is no drop in the engine's RPM, right, this would be our cylinder that is not contributing power. So if there is a drop in engine RPM whenever you disable the fuel or the spark from a particular cylinder, if there is a drop, in the, in the engine's overall RPM, that cylinder is contributing. But if you should remove the spark or fuel from, let's say, number three cylinder right here, number three, right, cylinder, which is right here, you should remove the spark or the, or the fuel and there's no drop in engine RPM, that cylinder is not contributing, right? So presently, on this motor vehicle here, there's a misfiring condition on this motor vehicle, right? So we're going to start this motor vehicle up, right? and um, show you the, I'll let you guys listen to the misfiring that is um, occurring at this moment. And we're going to perform the cylinder balance test, or drop test, to determine which cylinder is not contributing its fair share of power, or which cylinder the misfiring, or which cylinder is missing that power stroke, okay? So now, I'm going to start the engine up. The engine is now started up, and as you can clearly hear, that there is a misfire, misfire event occurring at this present moment. But we are not in the know of which cylinder, which cylinder that the misfire is happening on. So what we are going to do, we are going to perform that cylinder drop test or that cylinder balance test to ascertain which cylinder that the misfire event is happening on. So remember, we are going to, we need to disable either the fuel or the ignition or the ignition system, right, one by one. So we are going to do the, the spark. It's easily accessible here, so we are going to disable the spark. So remember now, if you should pull the spark plug wire here and there is a drop in the, in the engine's RPM, this would indicate to us that this cylinder here is contributing. So now we are going to pull the spark plug wire here. And as you can hear, there is a significant drop in the engine's RPM. We are going to pull the spark plug wire for cylinder number two. And as you can hear, there is no drop in the engine's RPM. So it is this cylinder that is not contributing. That is not contributing its fair share of power to this motor vehicle, to this um, engine right here. Because, remember, whenever you should remove the spark or the fuel right from that cylinder, and if there's a significant drop in the engine's RPM, it is an indicator that, the, that that cylinder is good, right? And if you should remove it, and there's no drop in the engine's RPM, it is this cylinder, it is that particular cylinder that is bad. So let us remove number three, the spark from number three cylinder here. And as you can hear, there's a significant drop in the engine's RPM, right? So this cylinder here is contributing its power. 
right so now we are going to move over to cylinder number two again we're going to remove the spark plug wire and as you can hear there's no drop in the engine's rpm right so it is cylinder number cylinder number two that we are having the misfiring event on so this so this misfiring event could be as a result of um, no fuel getting into the cylinder no spark right it could be engine mechanical it could be that we have a uh, worn out valves um, pistons or the the, the 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 timing is off right but as you can see here we are missing the fuel because the injector was unplugged for this demonstration so if i should plug the injector back on right we should get back to normal operation so now i'm going to just remove the the spark plug wire from cylinder number two and you're going to hear that drop right so there's that drop there right so cylinder number two is now working fine because I have restored back fuel 